This is a 1960 Chevrolet Bel Air. And uh, I got this car because I think this is a really affordable uh, alternative to getting an Impala. Six, 59 and 60 Impalas are just so expensive. So actually a while back this was a drag car and it was built right and I'll show you the under, underneath in a little bit. Um, and it doesn't still have the drag engine in it but it does have there we go. It does have a pretty stout engine. Transmission shifts perfect. The car actually cruises very nicely down the road. We put put some 18s on the front, 20s on the back to give it kind of a you know just sort of a hot rod look. This thing's a great, it's a great driver and a great affordable driver. But there's no way I could afford an Impala. Uh, or at least compared to what, uh, compared to what you know, I would pay for this car. It's got a nice sounding exhaust. It's side pipes. It's pretty beefy. It's got a uh, it's got a kit, uh, gauge kit down here, which is actually hidden up underneath the dashboard. Uh, and of course, while I started this video, it fell down, so I'm gonna have to put that back in. But I just want to go ahead and continue the video, anyways. It's got a nice engine detail to it. Just a nice matching. Valve cover, air cleaner, so a medium rise intake. It's actually got, uh, my mechanic said this thing's actually got a, 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 a kind of a mild build to it. It's actually a pretty stout little engine. Long tube headers. Sounding little cam. I'm gonna put my camera back here and show you around the car. Well, since I'm in the interior, I'll show you. It's got you know an old, uh, older interior in it, but still very presentable. Original dashboard. Speedometer is turning around, but it's. Uh, it's not accurate. Dash actually looks really good. All the metal's in good shape. It is missing the original uh, radio, but thankfully it is uh, not cut. The dashboard's not cut. The seats are actually in great shape, as is the rear tray and the headliner. This is just a cool driver. I mean, something to be seen in. It's a Bel Air, and uh, the main difference was the, of course, the Impalas don't have a post here. And you had a Biscayne, a Bel Air, and an Impala in that order. Brand spanking new, boss wheels and tires. I just did a quick burnout in a second ago because I put brand new tires on there, so I had to. But so you got brand new tires, got a straight body on the car. Uh, it was tubbed out in the back. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, so a while back somebody actually had it as a drag car. It's a really cool car that, you know, if you saw it running down the road, you'd say, wow, what a cool car. Of course, when you get up on it, it's, it's just, uh, you know, it's just a driver. And uh, if you wanted it to be really nice, you'd want to do some work on it. The paint's older. It's got a few cracks in it. The car's got some rust on it. Little spots here and there. I don't. I don't think this car is a rust bucket. If it was, I wouldn't have brought it in the shop. I don't ever sell cars with a lot of rust on them. Um, except I do have a 1955 Bel Air that's pretty rusty, but that's really rare for me. And the only reason I got it is because of 55 Bel Air. But other than that, uh, 
So you can see the bottom of the rock, the bottom of the rocker's got a couple of little rust bubbles there, a little scratch on the paint on the side of the door. This is a sharp 20 footer. I mean, from 20 feet away, the car looks cool. Got some rust bubbles around that rear piece. Uh, but nothing, nothing terrible. Very, very restorable. A little crack in the paint right there, if you can see that. Uh, but it really wouldn't take much to, it wouldn't take a whole lot of body work on this car to get it to where you'd want to put it, you could put a nice coat of paint on it. Got a little spot of rust down there. The rockers on this side look pretty good with a uh, tiny, two little stars there of, of rust. A little scratch on the paint there. I just really like to disclose everything that I can about a vehicle. I think the cool thing about this car is it runs great. It's a great driver. <clears throat> no rust up under the front end. Very clean under here. You got uh, long tube headers that come down to pipes that are uh, knockoffs on the side. <clears throat> so you've got your knockoff there and then you've just got some old, you know, really barely mufflers, cherry bombs. You got a good floor pan uh, for the most part, pretty good floor pan. You got a couple of little spots that had some rust there that somebody, actually that looks just like paint now that I'm messing with that, that's not rust. Um, bottoms of the rockers are in good shape, see? Somebody put a new pot piece of metal on the bottom of that floor pan. Backs of the quarters look pretty good. And actually the trunk in this thing's in really good shape. So underneath the back you've got a couple of spots of rust you'll see. If you look really close there's a little, you know, a little hole there of rust. You know, a small hole there in the back of the... But nothing that I... I, I don't think you'd have to replace the... Uh, quarters in this car I think honestly if it was me I'd just drive this thing I wouldn't do a whole lot to it you got one spot of rust right there get around where I can make sure I'm getting that you got one spot right there I mean that you could real easily cut and well I mean it's just a small piece right there on that uh, on the back of that frame part I think it's got a shortened axle on the back. We were discussing that at the shop. We put some pretty fat tires on here and you still got tons of room. So you could put some really, really big tires on here if you wanted to. This was about as big as I wanted to go. Locking rear end. Ugh. Rocker on this side a little bit of rust in the rocker here a little bit down towards the front floor pans look pretty good of course somebody dropped the new floor pan in from the inner, from the inside there frame little, frame rails look really good all the welding looks extremely professional boxed in really really well doors open and close easily Great driver, great driver, really, really a cool, iconic, old school car. If it was mine, I would lower it. I'd probably spend a couple hundred bucks touching up the paint and I'd drive it. I think the interior is very presentable. I'd put a stereo in it, of course, because i got to have my tunes. But that's just me. You know, everybody's different. Somebody might be looking for, at a car like this to do a complete restoration on it. I think this would be a great candidate for a restoration. It's got minimal rust. All the rust is very workable. A couple of, you know, a couple of cut and weld patches here and there. And you'd have a great car. I don't think it needs any new body, full body panels. If, in fact, uh, if you look at the under, uh, under the hood pictures, you'll see that the uh, you know inner fender wells look so nice you could eat off of them. I mean, the car overall is in great shape. The top is in great shape. No bubbles, no dents. 
it doesn't you know some of these old cars they look like they have hail damage or something I mean this car doesn't this car looks good so you can pop this trunk Hold on. big old car two-hander and actually we were gonna looks like we were gonna spatter paint the trunk and the guys left the spatter paint back here and didn't get it back. So this is the way it's going to be. But the cool thing is, is look, it hasn't been spatter painted, so you can see very clearly. Nice solid trunk pan, not rusted. Now you can see how big the tubs are in the back. The car was tubbed. It looks like it was done very nicely and very professional, and probably a long time ago. Got one spot of rust back there. Do a little weld, and we believe that there's a uh, possibility of uh, auxiliary tank that was installed here. There was a hole cut out right here, no rust, but there was a hole cut out right here uh, where we believe there were fuel lines going uh, when this car was a race car. I think somebody loved this car, took good care of it, kept it parked inside um, because it it, it it's just so clean. You know, a lot of times this car would rust out real real bad around here got some tiny little spots of rust you got one little spot right here with the paint chipped off and so you got some surface rust but usually these cars will like be eaten up with rust all around here and this one's not so I think this is a great candidate for a restoration uh, but like I said if it was mine I wouldn't do a whole lot to I'd just drive it because I think it's a really affordable cool old car and I think great right now and I think somebody's going to have a lot of fun with this car without having a lot of money into it.